everybody. Okay, I have a question. You all have seen water, right? Where? What are the different places where water comes from? Rivers. Rivers. Water fountains. Houses. Let me see if anybody else has an answer before I come back to you. See if they're okay. Okay. The ocean. The baptism font. It's a great place for water. Yep. The toilet. The toilet. <laughs> yeah. We need water in the toilet. There's no water in it. It can't flush. Anybody else know where some water comes from? Yeah. Yeah, the zoo uses a lot of water, right? Have you ever seen the penguins swimming around? They need water, right? I don't know what water is. Bathtubs have water. That's right. Yeah. Sewer pipes and sewer stuff. Yeah, there's water all over the place, right? All over the place. So Jesus meets with a woman. They're at a well. That's what you used to get water out of the ground. And Jesus says, I'm going to give you living water. Any idea what living water, Marky? Any ideas? What do you think, Grace? Is one answer. Do you have another answer you want to give? Okay, keep thinking. What do you think? So we find out, we talked earlier about water that goes in the baptismal font. Do you remember that right there? That baptismal font is a place where we say that we have living water and people are washed in it. Well, we don't have the mouse now. The mouse is only here for Advent. We're in, we're in a purple season now, and the mouse is here for the blue season. Uh, so we have living water. And when, just one second. And so that water is water that we're washed with. And that water, do you remember when we talked about a couple weeks ago about how that joins us to everybody else as part of our family? It's part of our family in Jesus. That's that living water. But you want to know something cool? That living water comes from a sink, just like other water. It's only living water because God's promise comes to it and makes it living water. So that means yeah. that every time you see water, so all these places that we talked about, bathtubs, drinking fountains, the sink, sewers, any time that we see water, we can be reminded of the living water that God gave us when we were baptized. So here's something else you can do. Anytime that you're around clean water, clean water, okay? So like water that you drink in a cup, water in a bathtub, water from a drinking fountain, water from a sink, clean water, shower water is good too. So we're not talking about toilet water, <laughs> not any dirty water, clean water. You can use your fingers, put a little bit of water in there and go like this on your forehead. You can make a little cross, or you can do a little splash, and that can remind you of God's living water. You want to do a little splash, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> sewer water. Sewer water is not clean water. So we're going to stick with clean water. If you can't drink it, don't put your fingers in it. That's going to be our, it's going to be our rule. For this. Sorry, parents, if I just opened up a can of worms for you. <laughs> but that's how we can remember living water. So even today, before you leave church, if you want, you can put your fingers in that font, get a little bit of water on there, and you can either make a little cross on your forehead, or you can ask someone, can I give you a little splash? And if they say yes, you can give them a tiny little splash. Let's say a prayer together, okay? Do you want to do it later? You can do it later. All right, can you repeat after me? Dear God, thank you for giving us living water and making us part of your family. Amen. All right, you guys can head on back.